Hi everyone, uh, I'm Coach Mo, and I just wanted to do a quick little video about my day, I guess. Um, I have fibromyalgia. I've had that for over 20 years. I've had it longer than 20 years, but diagnosed for over 22 years, <clears throat> which has led me to finding out about food allergies and finding out about adrenal fatigue just in this past year, which is connected to the fibromyalgia. So I know I'm not alone out there with this. So I just wanted to do a little video to encourage somebody, motivate somebody to try something different today to, to, you know, you still have to focus on your health, which is hard when there's aspects of your health that are not doing what they're supposed to do. So I don't have any energy and it's really, really easy for me to go into a negative energy because I, I'm used to pushing myself and doing what I need to do. But today, I couldn't do that today. I work a full-time job. And uh, I just, I slept through the alarms and I just couldn't wake up today. So I thought I would go in late and then I took a shower and that wiped me out. Like wiped me out. So I, I just decided not to go in. I'm just going to relax. And the fatigue is hard. The fatigue is hard. Um, I don't. I don't so much have all the pain anymore from the fibro. I do have arthritis. I do have degenerative disc disease as well. I also have hypothyroidism. As far as I know, that's all I got going on. Plus the food allergies, which to me is like a bigger deal. And the fatigue, if you have adrenal fatigue or adrenal insufficiency, you know, fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue syndrome, you know that fatigue is not just I'm just tired. That fatigue will wipe you out. That fatigue is real. And you and it it's it's so hard when people, you know, you say you're fatigued and they're like, "Oh yeah, I didn't get any sleep last night." No, you don't understand unless you have the fatigue. So, if you're watching this, and you, you don't have adrenal fatigue or fibromyalgia or chronic fatigue, but you know somebody who does, when they're tired, don't tell them how tired you are. Um, we don't want to be tired. It's not like we just got a bad night's sleep. It's not like we have too much on our plate. Literally taking a shower today wiped me out. And with with autoimmune issues, there's a um, there's the uh, Spoonie sisters, we call them. I have my Spoonie sisters, and a Spoonie is someone who has an autoimmune issue, and they don't have a lot of energy, and this woman created, you can Google it, YouTube it, it's, it's all over the place. Um, she's trying to help her friend understand her energy level, and it's based on you have 12 spoons to start your day with. Waking up and getting out of bed, you use a spoon. Taking a shower, you could use two spoons. Doing your hair is another two spoons. That's worth the five spoons. So basically, you could have used all of your energy before you even leave the house, before you even go down to have breakfast, before you even start helping the kids get ready, before you even, you know, go out for a meeting. You can have used all of your spoons. Now, I used to have a lot of days where I used all my spoons in the first hour uh, that I woke up. I'm, they're better now. My, my, my major fatigue days are far and few between, but they're still there. And that doesn't mean I don't have fatigue in between because I'm still just like, you're so completely exhausted by doing the most simple things. I try to walk every day at work and I can't when it's hot outside. I just can't. The heat just slows me down, you know, and makes it makes it worse. So I just wanted to hop on and just say, hey, I I understand how you feel. 
Um, don't let people get to you. you. You focus on you. If you need to rest, you need to rest. And if, that need, if you need to rest all day, every day for a long time, then, then that's what needs to be done. If you need help, ask for help. If you don't know where to ask for help, reach out on social media. If, if, if any of my friends knew that I couldn't do the dishes or if I couldn't go grocery shopping or if I couldn't do something and I asked them for help, I know somebody would help me. But they don't know. If we don't tell them, they can't help us. And I'm blessed. I'm married. I have four kids, and I've had a grandbaby, and and I'm and I'm healthier than I was. I am healthier than I was. All my blood work shows that. But having a stressful, I I do believe stress um, will blow those adrenal glands out. Blow, blow them out. And I had a stressful job. Didn't start out as a stressful job. Just somehow turned into that. And, you know, your adrenal glands produce cortisol, which is that fight or flight mode. And for a while, mine weren't producing any. And I was just, not myself. And I was just tired. And I was just cranky. And I was just a different person. Um, once I got diagnosed with the adrenal issues, um, I started working on them. And I see a PCP, I see an endocrinologist, I see a, a holistic doctor, and I, it is a process. You know, you there's stuff going on in your body. It's not just your adrenal glands. It's not just your thyroid. It's not just your liver. It, it, it's a whole bunch of little things that aren't working together. So once you start focusing on one thing and that starts to get better, you can focus on the next thing to get better and your vitamins and your hormone levels. And it makes a huge difference. So I feel way better. I'm gluten-free. I really believe anybody with an autoimmune issue needs to be gluten-free and watch the sugar. Um, I'm working on the dairy-free right now. I, like I said, I have food allergies, so it, it limits what I can have in the first place. But when going gluten-free, a lot of my pain away a, lo a lot of it a lot of it it didn't take away like the arthritis pain a hundred percent but the muscles and joints now when it rains when it's gonna rain I can feel that it's weird it's a barometric pressure like I can just feel it it's just coming so what do I do I just <sighs> try to up my vitamin D um, I don't drink a lot of caffeinated coffee. I don't, I do not. I drink decaf, um, cause I like the taste of coffee and I'm trying to limit that now. So I, I'm not, I'm, I'm using, you know, B vitamins and vitamin D is actually a hormone. Um, you know, um, I take something called OPC3 to remove toxins from my body. Toxins cause inflammation. Inflammation causes pain. Gluten causes inflammation. Inflammation causes pain. Fatigue. The mind fog. You know, it just, um, inflammation is a huge culprit on pretty much every disease, I would say. Uh, I'm not a doctor and I don't play one on social media. Unless you ask my kids, then they, you know, call me Dr. Mo. But I'm not really a doctor. I'm not a doctor. I've just been living this lifestyle for a long time. For a long time. And having food allergies and then, you know, fibromyalgia, then food allergies. I also had Barrett's esophagus. Changed my diet for that to heal my throat. Um, I always focus on food first. I always focus on food first and supplements. I do believe in supplements because the food doesn't have everything that we need in it. And we don't know where that food is being, you know, grown. I, maybe I could have wheat someday if it was grown on a pure, it was a pure wheat seed and a pure ground with no toxins in the ground. I, who knows? Who knows? But right now that gluten, that gluten and I are not friends. <laughs> we are not friends. So, but you know, on, on a rough day, it's like, I have all these ideas. Of, okay. I didn't go to work today. I could get all this laundry done. I could clean the living room. I can organize some social media. I can make dinner for my husband. Like I have all these ideas, but I'm too tired. I want to do it. 
but I know if I if I get up and I physically do anything, it's gonna wipe me out, and then I'm gonna be in a negative deficit of energy. And who wants that? Nobody wants that. So this is just an honest little video of my day. It's frustrating. I know I'm not alone. I want you to know you're not alone. And you know, there's things that you can do to boost your mood and boost your a little bit of your energy. And by boosting your energy, sometimes it's by doing nothing. It's by resting. You have to rest. If you don't rest, you're going to continue on that cycle. And I was I was extremely tired all week. And then I, it was just today was that day that if I if I went to work, I was going to be in trouble tonight and tomorrow. And and sometimes that'll set me back for like a week, you know, and I think it's going to rain. So the barometric pressure is coming today. And, that, you know, that's no fun. That's never fun. So I'm just going to relax here at home. My son came down and was like, oh, what are you doing here? I'm like, I didn't feel good. So. I needed to stay home. Oh, I focus on my glasses on these videos. <laughs> They're like crooked. <sighs> ah, you know, so if you want to follow me here, please follow me here. I think I'm going to do more of these. I would love to hear from you guys. And you can connect with me all over social media at CoachMo411 on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, Facebook, Periscope, YouTube and Snapchat. <laughs> I think I, I think I hit them all. So, and that's the other thing. Sometimes I just forget stuff. I forget, forget stuff. You can tell me something right now and then like in two minutes I'll be like, I'll ask you the exact same question that you just answered. It's not intentional. People think you're not listening. That's frustrating. That's frustrating when people think you're not listening, but you are listening. Cell phones are a whole other issue. I have ADD as well. So cell phones are not uh, the best for that. I just keep shaking. So thank you. Thank you for watching this little video. I just wanted to, you know, say hi. I'm Coach Mo. I have autoimmune issues. And I actually uh, coach women over 40 who are dealing with autoimmune issues. Because you still got to focus on your health. You still have to focus on drinking your water. You still have to focus on getting your protein in. And everybody's different. You know, I can't have gluten. And, I'm, and that, that'll be the first thing I tell anybody. When any, I get messages every single day asking, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? My first question is, are you gluten free? You know, there's this, this whole stigma around being gluten free. Like it's, it's bad or, or stupid or what does it even do? It does a lot. It takes six months to a year for that gluten to get out of your body. You have to detox from the gluten. It turns into a toxin in your blood. So it's going to cause inflammation. It's going to cause migraines. It's going to cause brain fog. It's going to cause pain. It's going to cause illness. Like it's going to just cause a lot of stuff. And sometimes you don't even know what you have going on because you're focused on one pain. So when that one pain disappears, you feel this other one and you're like, well, that's not working. No, that pain was always there. But your body can only handle one major pain at a time. You might feel a little ache there, but once that one pain is taken care of, you're going to find all these other little ones. You get rid of that gluten, you're going to see a lot of them go away, lessen. So that's it. That's all I got for you today. If you like this video, share it out to someone that you know. If you like what you're hearing, I would love for you to follow me here. And if you're seeing this somewhere else, um, you know, if somebody shared this with you, that means they care about you. That means they care about you. And, you know, I don't have all the answers. Some things work and some things don't work. You know, I ran a 5K back in 2012. And I could never, I could not do that again. I could not do that again pretty proud of myself on that one, having fibromyalgia. And I said I was going to run it before I was 50, and I did it when I was 49. So, and I'm 52. That's three years ago. So, 2000, 2014. <laughs> See, you don't remember stuff. You don't remember, and it's okay. It's okay. Um, 
yeah, message, please message me, please follow me. And you can, and follow me here because I will be sharing, I have a Facebook group as well. Maybe I'll put the link in here or you can comment if you would like the link to my Facebook group. All right, um, I'm gonna go, but thank you so much for listening. And I always like to end all of my broadcasts with don't forget to shine like the star you are.